Imagine one day you are sitting at home alone and you hear someone trying to open the front door. What are you going to do? Well, your dog sure knows what to do. He begins barking, growling, and snarling his teeth at the robber. The robber is scared away and you are safe once again. Today we are going to be talking about why dogs are better pets than cats. It is because they offer a better companionship, can save your life, and according to cfido.com, they will defend you when the going gets tough. Dogs offer a better companionship because after a long day, they will meet you by the door when you come home from work. They will save you from a bad guy and they can be trained to do things that humans cannot. So, how could your dog scare off a robber? ILoveDogs.com says that dogs can be good guards for your home. They can scare away a robber or with their large teeth, they can bite and injure the robber helpless until the police arrive to take them into custody. Cats, on the other hand, would run in fear. They would hide under the bed until the stranger left. They are not interested in sitting around and protecting their humans. They just want you to feed them and change their cat box every now and then. After working long hours can really drain you to the extent but when you are met by your best friend, your pet dog, it all seems to be worth it. Petplace.com says that dogs will meet you at the door when you arrive home. For instance, when I was a young child, I lived in a very small town. My preschool was a mile away. My pet dog, which was a Labrador, would sit by the, would lay on my mother's bed until he heard the buses start up at 11.30. When he heard the buses start up, he would quickly jump down and run and sit by the front door, patiently waiting for 20 minutes until I stepped off the bus. He did this every single day. I had a pet cat when I was also young. She never once met me at the front door. Many times, she would run down the hallway and bite the backs of my legs. I really didn't like her much, but I loved my pet dog, and I miss him a lot. <coughs> Cats are very independent, therefore they're not interested in meeting you when you come home from work. Dogs are very smart, trustworthy, and reliable animals, and they can be trained to do things that humans just simply cannot do. When the attacks, when the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 to the World Trade Center occurred, thousands of people were trapped beneath the rubble. According to the dogfiles.com, Hundreds of dogs came to sniff out the dead and alive. Dogs have an uncanny nose that no human's nose could ever match up to, nor could a cat's nose. Dogs can be trained to sniff out whether to sniff out only alive people or only dead people. In a mass destruction incident like this, it is vital that we find the alive people first. There's nothing more we can do for the dead, so we need to make sure we get the alive people out if they have a chance. Dogs can also be trained to help someone who is bound to a wheelchair, to help a blind man cross the street on a busy road, or to pick up the phone and dial 911. This is remarkable that a dog could learn to do these things. Cats, on the other hand, could not do this. Watch. Buster. Sit, Buster. Buster. Sit. He knew the trick immediately. This cat, on the other hand, as you see, she wants to be let free. She's not happy with us for making us sit, for making her sit here for this wonderful speech. Cats are not so trainable. They're not interested in doing what people want them to do. They're single-minded and would rather lay and bask in the sun than please their humans. They're solitary animals, therefore they do not run in packs like us humans do. They're not interested in you or doing a wonderful trick for you, saving you from a robber, digging you out of rubble, or being your friend. They only want you for food and changing their box. My opinion, they'd probably rather be free than be your pet. Dogs are very happy with teasing their owners. Knowing all that we know about dogs and cats, it is clear that the dog is the better pet than the cats. In review, we know that dogs can protect you, save your life, 
or be your best friend. Cats, on the other hand, not so much. Dogs can chase away a robber, meet you at the door when you come home, or find someone under the worst circumstances. Because of all of this information, we now know that the dogs are a better pet to choose than a cat. I know I would choose a dog any day over a cat. Now that we know that dogs are a better pet to have than a cat, hopefully your next pet purchase or adoption will be man's best friend, a dog. And just in case you were wondering, a beagle like Buster here is the best family pet to have. They're very good with children, as you see, and they love to please their owners. Although, they do kind of beg, but it's not so bad. He's always there by your side when you're eating. So hopefully your next purchase will be man's best friend and not some independent-minded cat.